Most AI tools flop on shirts. Ideogram doesn't. Here's why. We all know the typical POD design struggle. And if you're specifically using AI for your designs, which you really should, you will notice that most AI tools aren't made for print-on-demand. And yeah, that's a problem if you want to create print-on-demand designs. So you oftentimes get bad fonts, and you see these bad fonts right here on the examples. And I must admit, these examples are really bad. So you can see this font right here, it's really basic and isn't really appealing to any customers, I would say. And also this phrase is repeating right here. So you got this font right here on the next design. It looks quite good on these words, dead text. But then you got the word text again and you got the space right here. And yeah, the whole design looks really bad. Then we got this font right here. It looks quite good, but it doesn't really fit with this font. The next struggles are bad compositions. And yeah, all these designs are in a bad composition. You got the fish right here. And you got a lot of empty space right here. It looks really bad. Same right here. You got this empty space. You could have this graphic a lot bigger. And on this design, we got the phrase right here. And the phrase is over this border right here on the design. So it just doesn't look like a comprehensive design. Then there's another big disadvantage. The AI tool is not versatile enough. That means it could not produce enough styles. And that's a problem because your designs will always look the same in any niche and for any target group. And if you want to model a specific design style, there's a high chance that your AI tool just can't do it. So what makes Ideogram different? Now, Ideogram delivers nearly ready to sell designs. So that means if you're using the correct settings on Ideogram and use some simple extra parameters, you get high quality designs where you just need to remove the background, upscale it and maybe bring to the merge format and they are ready to upload. So IDOCAM is really that advanced where you don't need to edit some specific details on the design. You can use most designs as they are. And also IDOCAM combines image and typography exceptionally well. So not only it produces high quality graphics, it's exceptionally good in creating text without mistakes. And that's exactly what you want. Because we want to produce designs with the phrase and the graphic, because that's what sells most in print on demand. Next, Ideogram can handle a wide range of different POD styles. So that's also really important because we don't want our designs to look the same. And I guess Ideogram was trained on a lot of POD designs, because it can generate basically any POD style. So next, it got a great understanding of prompts. And what do I mean by that? Well, basically, you can write your own prompts for Ideogram, of course. But I love to use ChatGPT for creating my prompts, or I mean for generating my prompts. And even though the prompts came from another AI, Ideogram just understands what we want. So here are my top reasons I use Ideogram for POD. Well, first of all, and that's the most important one, it generates high quality designs. So of course, if it would produce a lot of designs that we can't use and have a lot of mistakes, like small graphic errors or like spelling mistakes, then it just wouldn't make much sense to use it. So since the version 2.0 of Ideogram, it produces high quality designs and version 3 even topped that. Next, it's optimized for print on demand. So in the settings, you can set your style to design. And if you do that and have the right parameters in your prompt, you will get a typical POD design that sells really nice. So I really think they trained Ideogram on a lot of POD designs. I mean, on a lot of good POD designs, of course. So next we got the print friendly style out of the box. So we don't really have to do heavy editing on our designs when we generated them. I just picked the generated designs that I like, remove the background, upscale them, bring them to the merge format and maybe compress them. And boom, they are ready to upload. So you couldn't produce designs on a scale if you would need to re-edit every design and do that design after design. Next, we got a sharp and clean typography that actually works on these shirts. So simply said, Ideogram really knows what we want as a POD seller or like what the customers want. Because first of all, we want a big design, but we also want the typography to be really big. Because nowadays, most people are shopping on their phone. So customers really have to see the design and the phrase at the first glance. And somehow, Ideogram really knows that we want big typography. Next, we got a great interface that's fast and easy to use. So when I started with my AI designs, I started with Midjourney back in the day and it was on Discord and it really wasn't a good user experience. So Ideogram has a really simple and easy web interface. So you don't have to struggle with a complicated setup or an interface that's just too complicated. And on Ideogram, you just have to do your settings once and it saves them. So it's really convenient. Next, we got a fast generation speed. 
So when you enter your prompt and click generate, it really just takes seconds to generate. And of course in business time is money, so we don't want to waste any money. So here's one of my favorite features of ideogram. We got the bulk generation. So you just have to prepare a CSV file that's just like an Excel sheet. You put in your prompts, you have the settings in your Excel sheet, then you upload this sheet to ideogram. You hit generate and it generates all the prompts that you have in this sheet. So that's really convenient and also an important step for automation. So if you're in a higher tier or want to produce a lot of designs, this bulk generation is vital for your business. Next, we got the best value for our money, especially compared to Midjourney or DALI. So if you're starting with ideogram, I would recommend starting with the $20 plan. You get quite a good amount of credits. You have private generation and you get also unlimited slow credits. And if you get the biggest plan on ideogram, which I have, you also get the very important bulk generation. Now let's check out some examples from ideogram. And for these examples, I just picked some bestsellers from Amazon right now. Now here's this America Bigfoot. He's holding the American flag and he's doing this sign. How do you call this sign? Rock and roll or something like that? Please write it down in the comments. Then we got the text America. And of course, I don't know if this graphic was AI generated. Of course it could be because the stars are a bit blurry right here. Doesn't look that clean. So for this demo I just uploaded this design to ideogram, click the describe button and generated it as it is. And here we are. Now you can see that the graphic is really really sharp and the stars right here on the flag are basically perfect and the lines are really smooth. So for some reason he's showing the peace sign. <laughs> That's quite funny. That's quite a good twist on the design. But other than that, the design concept is actually the same. So this is just a demo to show you the capabilities of ideogram. I wouldn't just copy these designs as they are. But as you can see, the design is quite perfect for POD. So next we got this graphic only cat design and it's basically really popular right now. So we got this Godzilla cat and it's combined with this Japanese artwork. It's called a great wave. And again, I just put it into ideogram, click the describe button and regenerate it. So here we are, this is the result. And we get a design that's quite similar to this one, but it's different. And when you take a closer look, this cat is not in this style from the waves, but right here on the ideogram version, it fits the style completely. And the cat looks a lot meaner in this design. So when you take a look at the cat itself, we can't really find mistakes on the graphic. So again, you can see that ideogram is really powerful. Now for this design, I picked a typography only design. So it's got quite a lot of text on the design. Now let's see the result. And here we are. Now the text is really sharp and actually the composition of this ideogram design is better than the original one. As you can see, we got the empty spots right here on this design and ideogram just wrote the 50 way bigger. And it also shows a font that's a bit bolder than on the original design. What I also like more about this design is the fact that we got this phrase on the original design right here and it's quite small, but ideogram made it way bigger and used the space way better. So overall it made a design that's better than the original one. And there's absolutely no mistake in the words as you can see right here. And this actually was my first try generating them. I also generated the other designs just one time. And as you could see, they turned out really nice. So here's how I use ideogram in my workflow. So first of all, I generate the prompts with ChatGPT. I mostly use my own GPT that I created, where I just need to put in the phrases and the niche. And it basically generates all the prompts for ideogram. So then I paste the prompts into Google Sheets. Then I export the CSV file. And you can also do this easily in Google Sheets. Then I got the CSV file and then I upload it to ideogram and generate these designs in bulk. Then I just have to download these designs. You get a zip file from ideogram, remove the backgrounds from these designs. Then I pick the best ones and then I edit these designs in bulk. And then they are basically ready for upload. If you want to start generating designs with ideogram right away, then check out my simple tutorial right here.